roll kitchen is Anna's kitchen, but it's your kitchen and it's everybody's kitchen. If you want to try a place where the food's finger licking, just come on in to your old kitchen. Anna's always cooking food that looks and smells so good. It's fine cuisine from all corners of the world, right in your neighborhood. It's Italian dinners and Portuguese fare. It's France food with a European flair. You can stop right here with all your channels switching and pull up a chair in your old kitchen. Anna's your old kitchen. This is my buddy, Caitlin Briggs. Caitlin, how old are you? Six. Six. We're going to go in and show you the farm stand here at Sunnycrest Farms in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Then we're going to head back to my house. We're going to make strawberry banana bread, strawberry butter, and strawberry balsamic vinegar wonton cups. We can't wait to see you, so come on in the store. This is a great farm. They've been here forever. They're open seasonally. Right now, we've got fresh strawberries. Pick your own raspberries, pick your own blueberries. You can get corn, you can get your vegetables. They have local honey. And they also have a little bakery on site here that makes fresh muffins, breads, raspberry pies. So, Okay, so now we're gonna head home and we're gonna make fresh strawberry banana bread, strawberry butter, and strawberry wonton cups. You're gonna love it. So see you back in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Anna Marie, and welcome back to this edition of Euro Kitchen. We had so much fun at Sunnycrest Farm out in Londonderry, New Hampshire. I'm back with my partner, Caitlin, who loves to make banana bread. So today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. We're making strawberry banana bread. We're also gonna make wonton cups with strawberries and we're gonna make strawberry butter. So first I wanna give you the ingredients for the strawberry banana bread, which is so good. And you could do this with blueberries or raspberries, anything that's in season. So you're gonna need one large egg. You're gonna need a half a cup of light packed brown sugar. You're gonna need about a third of a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil. You're gonna need a quarter cup of granulated sugar. We're gonna need a fourth a cup of sour cream. You can also use Greek yogurt, but the sour cream makes it really, really moist in this recipe. You wanna help me read the ingredients? What's this one? Two teaspoons vanilla e extra. extract. We need one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then we need a half a teaspoon of salt and one cup of ripe bananas, which is usually for me about two large bananas. And then we're going to need um, about one and a half cups of fresh strawberries. What I do with my strawberries is once I hull them, I'm going to have them and then quarter them. So we're going to get started with the um, bread. So come on over here, Caitlin. Okay, so what we want to do first is I need an egg. Have you ever cracked an egg before? Mm. I'm going to let you crack an egg, okay? You try it. Good girl. That's okay. You're doing good. Perfect. Awesome. Do you know why I always crack them in a bowl first? Because if the egg is bad, you know how sometimes an egg can be bad? Maybe there's a little blood in it or it's brown or something. You don't want to put that in your recipe if it's bad. So we're going to put this in the mixer. Okay. Now we're going to start to put all those other ingredients that we had in there. So I have everything out here just in case. So we need a third a cup of our oil. So what we're going to do with this is I put all my measuring spoons for you. So this is a quarter cup. This is a third cup. So do you want to pour that for me? You will go ahead. You pour it. I'll let you do it because you like to bake so much. I heard your favorite thing to make is banana bread. Is that true? Wow. Okay, good girl. All right, I'm gonna put this in. Thank you. So that's one third cup of vegetable oil or canola oil. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. Now, it, they want you to use brown sugar and white sugar. So I have my brown sugar and I have my white sugar. And we're gonna bring this right over here. You go ahead and get me a nice half cup of brown sugar. Good girl. Okay, now what we're gonna do is put it on the counter, because brown sugar, it always says to have it packed, which means you wanna have a lot in there, and you pack it down. So we're gonna grab a spoon. We're gonna get a little bit more out. We're gonna put that right in there, and then I pack it down. Because when it says packed brown sugar, that's what you wanna do is you wanna pack it down. So now we're gonna put that in there, okay. We need a fourth a cup of granulated sugar, so that's white sugar. So here's a fourth a cup. 
We always level off anything that we're mixing. So if I put something in here, we level it off with my finger or I'll use a spoon. So that's our sugar. This is gonna be the base of our recipe. Does this kind of sound like how you make banana bread? Mm, kinda. Kinda? Now I'm gonna go get sour cream. It says a fourth of a cup, and I'm gonna <laughs> let you dish this out. So I want you to take this spoon and fill this cup, okay? I'll hold the cup for you. Good girl. Perfect. You know what, it's nice to have somebody with me in the kitchen. It helps out a lot. Okay, how about one more spoon? All right, let's level this off. Remember, we want to level off all our ingredients. So we have a fourth a cup of sour cream. And you know what? It's different when you're doing baking. You kind of have to have exact measurements where when you're doing cooking, you don't really, you can kind of fool around with it a little bit. Okay, now I need half a teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder. A lot of times you don't see both in a recipe, but one's a stabilizer and one's going to help it rise. So. Let's see, a half a teaspoon comes after the quarter, so I'm gonna let you do it. This is a half a teaspoon, and this is my baking powder, so I want you to get that out. And then what you do is, see this flat part here? You go like this, watch. You rub it right up against, and look, it leveled it off. So go ahead and put that in. Good girl. Now we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of this, so the same one, put in here. Okay, and level it off. Good job, goes right in there. I can tell you are an experienced baker. Now we need a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna grab my salt. That was my little sticky note to make sure I got the basil and we got that. So we're gonna put our salt in. Okay, and you know what? When I was little, I used to wonder why they put salt in stuff that was sweet, but you know what? It makes it even a little bit sweeter when you put the salt in. And now the last thing we have to put in is our vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite. We're gonna put a whole teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. Okay, I'll let you pour it in. Good wow. job. I think we got a little bit extra in there, but that's okay, because I love vanilla. So now we have all of these ingredients in here. We're just gonna turn our mixer on. We're gonna get this all combined. What do I do with this? Yeah. This is what lifts the mixer up and down, watch. See? So now this is already in place. So I'm gonna get this mixed up. So for our flour, we need one and a quarter cups. So we're gonna take this big one here. You wanna do the flour for me? And I'm gonna get you my knife to level it off. Okay, now hold it over there and we wanna make sure it's level. So I take a knife and I go like that. I just wanna get it leveled off, okay? Now, you put it in that bowl right there. Good girl, good job. Okay, now it says after that, it says besides that one cup of flour, we need a quarter cup. So that was one of our little ones. So now I need you to get me a quarter cup of flour. Do the same thing you just did. Good job, and I'll level it off for you. You are such a good partner. You put that right in there. Okay. Now we got everything. So now what we're gonna do is, we're done mixing this part, so we're gonna take this off. We're gonna come over to the table. And we'll show everybody what it looks like. Where do you think that brown color came from that's in there? How did it turn brown? What did we put in there that made it brown? It was one of the sugars. Remember? What brown sugar? Yeah. The brown sugar gave it that really nice color. So now what I do is, I'm taking my dry ingredients, okay? And I'm gonna take my spatula. Yeah, well what we do is, have you ever folded something in? Has mama ever made something at home that you fold in? No. Okay, well when you fold stuff in, they don't want you to mix it on the mixer. So you're gonna take that flour and you're gonna put in a little bit at a time, okay? I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. So what you do when you fold it in is you take your spatula and you're just gonna go like this with your hand. And I'm gonna let you do that. You're just gonna keep, that's it. That a girl. Cause you don't wanna overbeat the batter. So that's what you're doing. While you do that, I'm gonna spray my little pan. So I'm just using a little loaf pan. And I'm gonna spray it with nonstick spray.
And you know what? I love these little disposable pans, Caitlin, because I can take them and drop them off to a friend and I don't have to worry about getting my pan back. So let's see how you're doing. You're doing a great job of folding in. So now I'm gonna go around to the sides and you just go from the bottom. You're just gently folding it in. So now what I need you to do is give me the rest of that flour. The rest of it. The rest of it. Keep going all the way. Good girl, awesome. Okay, I'll get it started and I'll let you finish it. Okay, so you do it just like that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go mash the bananas. So I'm gonna go grab the bananas. Okay, I'm gonna mash these, I got a fork. How you doing on your folding? Good. Did you ever think we'd be folding something and baking? No. We usually fold like fold the sheets and fold papers. But that's another word in cooking. It just means to fold your ingredients in. And right now I'm just mashing the bananas. I like my bananas when they're really ripe. Okay, how are you doing over there, Missy? Ooh, that looks good. All right, I got my bananas mashed. So I'm gonna put these over here. Let me help you a little bit. Help you get this folded in. And see what I do sometimes is I scrape it down from the sides to make sure I get everything because what we're gonna do is after this, we're gonna cut up the strawberries, and we're gonna get this in the oven. So that looks pretty good. You just wanted to get those ingredients all combined. Okay, so now what you can do is, you can keep folding. Here come the bananas. Let me use the spatula and get everything out of there for you because we don't wanna get any of those that we don't have. I had so much fun with you today. Okay, now you go ahead and do that and I'm gonna go get the strawberries, okay? One and a half cups of strawberries. So what I'm gonna do, Caitlin, is I'm gonna have the strawberries, which means just putting it in half and then I'm gonna have them again and that's quartering them. We wanna get a cup and a half. So I'll do these real fast. So tell me some of the things you make with your mom. Wow, I make brownies. <gasps> what kind of brownies? Do you put anything in them? Um, sometimes we put flour. Okay. And sugar. And most of the time when you make brownies, you put eggs in. Yeah, I bet now. Wait till you show your mom that you cracked an egg. She's going to be really proud of you, you know. What I only crack eggs at my grandma's because most of the time my mom never lets us crack eggs. Oh, okay. This is the fun part. That's banana bread. Guess what this is going to be? Strawberry, Strawberry banana. banana bread. This is a little trick I'm going to show you. Anytime you add fruit to a recipe, if you put just a little bit of flour on top of the fruit, guess what happens? It makes it more fluffier. Exactly. It keeps it from sinking to the bottom. So we want to put a little bit of flour on here. We're going to fold it in. Watch this. Can you do it? Oh, you're a pro already. Look at you. Good job. Okay, can I see it for one second? I'm just going to show them. We're just going to the bottom and going over the top. We're just gently folding it in. So we're not beating the batter. We're just folding it in. And by putting that flour on the strawberries, it's keeping everything from sinking to the bottom. I'm gonna pour this in. Oh, it looks good already. I could eat it just like this. Look at all those big strawberries. Okay. Yummy ones. They're too. yummy ones. And who would think that we put sour cream in here? You could put yogurt in here. But that's what makes it moist besides the oil that we put in too. And the bananas. Mm. You know what else we could put in here? Do you like nuts? Uh, I'm not allergic to them, but I like them, yes. Yeah, we could put walnuts in. Do you think I should put a couple walnuts in it? Would you like that? Yes, I would love Okay. It. Just put some on top. Push these down a little bit so that they get in there. I'm going to wipe that off. All right, 
This, my dear, is going in the oven at 350 degrees for between 55 to 60 minutes. Now we're gonna make our second recipe. These are called strawberry wonton cups. So you wanna make sure you get wonton wrappers at the store. Um, a lot of times you're gonna find egg roll wrappers. You wanna get the wonton wrappers because the egg roll is a little bit thicker. So we have, you need 24 of these. And then we're gonna use goat cheese, fresh basil, balsamic vinegar, and sugar. This is such an easy recipe. We just wanna spray them so that they don't stick. So these are actually mini muffin cups. I use them for a lot of different things. So what we're gonna use them for today is our wonton wrappers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these wrappers. You can use round ones or the square ones. These are square ones, but see how much thinner they are? You can almost see through them. These are also great if you're making ravioli. Instead of making your own pasta, these are awesome. So what we want to do, because these are mini muffin cups, we're going to put them in, and we're just going to make sure that they get in the muffin cup. Do you want to help me do them? Okay, there's one. How about you work on that side, and I'll work on this side. All right, and then I just press them down. I'll put a couple for you. How about like that? I line them up for you, and you can do them. And then we're just going to keep that inside because what's going to happen is after I bake these, they only bake for 10 minutes at 350, we're going to fill them with our strawberries. It's going to be strawberries, balsamic vinegar, sugar to taste. So you want to taste as you're going through the recipe. You're already done? Let me show you a little trick. You want to make sure that they're pressed in there. You want them to look real pretty. There you go, honey. That's a good job. Oops, this one's got a little bit of a tear. So we're going to put that one aside. Okay, try that one. Go ahead. Yeah, and you just want to push them down real gently like that. You're a big help. Do you help your mom out a lot in the kitchen? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? Well, you know what? My mom was from Italy. So she learned a lot of really good stuff, and she showed me how to do it. And that's why I love to cook is because I was always in the kitchen with my mom. While everybody was outside playing, I loved to stay and watch her. I just thought it was so neat how she would make her own pasta. You need some more wrappers, honey? Every time my mom bakes, I basically ask her if I can help. Well, I'm proud of you doing that. You know why, Caitlin? Maybe someday you and your mom can write your own cookbook. And you know what I would love to do? Then you have all of your mom's famous recipes that she was famous for. You know what I liked when I came to your house this Christmas? What? Your dad's famous was it chicken wings? It was like Oh, they were the best. Bits. Chicken bits or chicken nubblers. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to quick put these in the oven because they take 10 minutes. So we're going to put those in. These are the ingredients we're going to need besides the wonton cups. Two cups of strawberries, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of sugar to taste. We might have to add a little bit more. And then our crumbled goat cheese. So those wonton cups are gonna bake, and in the meantime, we're gonna work on the strawberries. I wanna thinly slice these strawberries. So I'm just gonna slice them like that, and I'm gonna need two cups. Okay, so we're gonna put one tablespoon. I think my mom has that same thing. She does? I love, these are my favorite measuring spoons. So two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. My mom got her, my mom's friend, mm -hmm. for her birthday, I think. Yeah. Got her like a little thing of necklace. That was very thoughtful of her. Okay, this is one tablespoon. We're gonna start with one tablespoon and then we're gonna see if we need to add more. And guess what, that's all I have to do. And I'm just gonna get this all combined and then we get to taste it. Yes, you can mix it. You go ahead. I'm going to get us tasty. Go real gentle. You don't want to break the berries. Okay. Do you know what's really important when you're cooking? Do you know that you have to taste everything before you finish it? Well, we're going to taste everything when we're done, so. Yeah, sure. but, but guess why we did. Come on over here. Guess why we taste it before we bake it? Because we have to see if it needs more salt or sugar. So I'm going to take a taste, okay? Mm. You tell me what you think, okay? We'll stop mixing this. Tell me if you think it needs more sugar. Okay. Hmm. 
a little bit more? Well, bit. actually, we could put a little bit more sugar. Yeah, a little bit more. But you know what? It's so good because do you know that balsamic vinegar can also be used as a dessert? You know what you do is? Okay, we're going to let these sit on for, don't mix it right away. Let's let this sit for a little bit on there. What's nice is, if I was to take this vinegar, Caitlin, and if I was to cook it on the stove for a couple minutes, guess what happens to it? What? It gets really thick and you can pour it over ice cream. Who would have thought vinegar would be a dessert? This actually turns, yeah. but you know what? It actually turns into sugar. It's so good. So go real gently. Okay, so if I take my basil, watch this. I'm gonna put one inside each other, okay? And guess what I'm gonna do? This is called chiffonade. Can you say that? Chiffonade. Chiffonade. We're gonna roll it like this, okay? Real tight. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to cut it really, really thin. And guess what we're going to use this for? What? This is going to garnish the strawberries and it's going to give it such a good flavor. Look how nice and it's just like they roll out. They're like paper thin. Look at that. See how they are? They're perfect. Watch what happens now. Now the magic happens. You take a little bit of the filling, okay? Put that one in there. Good job. Okay, now watch this. Just take a little bit of goat cheese and put it on top. This is gonna be kind of a sweet and savory appetizer. And just a little bit of basil. How's that look? Very good. Very good, and it's gonna taste delicious at the end of the show. So that's our second appetizer. It's our wonton cups with strawberries. We're going to take a break and guess what we're going to make? What? Whipped strawberry butter. We'll be right back. Hi, we're back. This is our last recipe and this is one of my favorite recipes, whipped strawberry butter. One thing I wanted to tell you about the butter is you don't have to use strawberries. You can use blueberries, raspberries, you can put vanilla in, apricots, whatever berry you like, you can make that. You can put honey in. What's so nice and about these? Pineapple. Pineapple. What's great is these will keep forever in the refrigerator. They're great on muffins and toast, but they're going to be really good on that bread at the end of the show. So these are the ingredients. You want to use one cup of strawberries, a half a cup, which is one stick, you want to use unsalted butter. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of confectionery sugar. So what we're going to do first is, I'm going to do this in the food processor. You can do this in a mixer too, but this just makes it really easy. Guess what I do when I take everything off of these wrappers? Do you know what I do with it? What? I put them in the freezer. And you're probably gonna say, you put them in the freezer. Why do you put them in the freezer? The wrapper's in the freezer! Because afterwards, you know when it says to butter a pan? See, there's butter left on there. I butter my pans and they're in the freezer. Okay, so here's my butter. <laughs> it won't be so weird when you try it though. Okay. And here we go. What's nice is if you keep your butter at room temperature, it's gonna be so much easier for the mixing. We're gonna add into this two tablespoons of confectionery sugar. This is my confectionery sugar. Do you know one time Mia made it snow in my kitchen, my granddaughter? Yeah, you told me that. She was blowing it all over the place. So we're gonna get this mixed in right now. And sometimes I just like to pulse it just to see if it gets mixed in. Okay. So now what I want to do is take a fresh spoon and I just want to go get all that good confectionery sugar from the Yummy. side. It looks good already, doesn't it? Well, the butter, you would put strawberries in it. Then it probably would be yummy. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> this is all incorporated show them what it looks like. See it's nice and whipped up and light and fluffy. Now I'm going to add the strawberries. The best part? Strawberries are very good. They are very good. I think we've had too much fun today with these strawberries. What do you think? Mm, no! We have it. So we need a whole bottle. <laughs> I'm just going to pulse it because I don't want to puree it. I want to have chunks of strawberries in there. Okay. That makes a weird Look sound at that. Oh my gosh, that 
looks so good. So now I'm going to take my spoon. And you're going to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Do you imagine how good this is going to be on our bread? Hi, we're back. I just wanted to thank my partner here in crime today, Caitlin Briggs, because I had so much fun with her. We went out to Sunnycrest Farms in Londonderry, New Hampshire. You can call them on their hotline, but right now they're picking blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, great corn and everything is out there. We came back and we made some great strawberry banana bread. We made strawberry wonton cups and we made strawberry butter. So guess what we're going to do now? Eat them! Yeah! So here's a strawberry cup for you, mm. one for me, and how about some strawberry banana bread? Isn't this mint? That's uh, basil, hun. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that strawberry bread. How delicious is that? That's so pretty. You've got the strawberries inside, the sour cream. It's going to be nice and moist. Ooh, that mm. looks yummy. Mm. I'm going to just take a little piece. Now I put some powdered sugar on here, Caitlin. You don't have to put powdered sugar on it if you don't want to. But, but you should. You should. It's a nice taste. Yeah. It might taste good. All right, I say we put some strawberry butter on here. Ooh, that looks good. Just think, we made this all by ourselves today. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Do you want strawberry butter on yours? No, I'm good. You're good? You sure? You want to try just a little piece? Okay. Okay. Are we missing anything? We got the butter, the strawberry bread. Okay. The I, cake, but it's going to take a little more. Well, we have it right here. Oh. That's yeah. it. Okay, so I'm going to try a piece of my bread. Ready? One, two. You can just pick yours up and eat it. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. The strawberry butter tastes very good. Oh, thank you. So, so good. How about let's try this? Mm. I want to thank you because I had such a nice time with you. You can come on the show anytime. You want to say hi to anybody? Your mom and dad? Hi, mom and dad. Even if they're watching. They will be watching, so say hi to them. They live in Deerfield. Hi, Becky. Hi, Mr. Briggs. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.